Hello world, PDR coming at you here with a 2016 Jeep Renegade Sport. Really nice truck. And if you notice right here, we've got a dent that's from here to here actually. The, mo the majority of it is right there. And then the crease line kind of runs out to here. And so what we're gonna do is it's uh, morning. That's at 81 degrees. 83, 81, 84, 85, 79, 77, 82, right there in the center of the dent. So it's not warm out um, in the air, but this panel's been sitting in the sun for a while, so it's probably gonna be just a real nice pull. I'll let the glue uh, set. It's, you know, two-year-old factory paint. It's a nice cheap, so uh, we got the glue gun all warm. And what I'm gonna do first thing is I'm gonna start with a larger tab, but I'm only gonna put like a little triangle of glue in it. If you notice, there's only, now, like there's a little triangle and then I'll come down with a little drop off that triangle and I'll put it right in the center of that. And I don't know if you guys have a great visual because of the sun. I can always give you a little shade there. Um, but we're not gonna let that thing dry too long. And I might even use the mini lifter for this one if it'll fit around that big tab. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, it fits around it. And let's just use the mini lifter so I can kind of, I don't want to go this way with it and come off that line. I want to use that line as a, a stabilize. And I'm just going to give it a nice slow tug, guys. I'm not going to yank it. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I, it already moved because I can move this. You'll know when it moves because you give it a tug and then you can, then it wiggles a little. So you can tighten this a little bit more. Give it another tug. Do I want to pull it high? Heck no. So let's check it. This is a little tip, tipsy here for you. Um, let's check before I pull this thing off. Loosen it up, slide it off. And yeah, I moved it not high yet. But I don't think I don't think I want to give it that much more of a pull. I'm gonna give it one of these. Just to see if it pulls that glue off. And now we'll hit it up with the 91 isopropyl. In the last video of uh, me working on my car, I had the 70%, and you'll see how much difference it is. The difference in 70 to 90% is a lot because once I get the lip up on that boom spray a little bit more and that stuff just rolls right off wow guys I did pull it high see right there it came a little bit high which is fine because I can always tap that down but I'm gonna make another little tiny pull right here I'm gonna take a little tab with just a spot of glue in the middle not even in the middle I missed but I'm gonna hit it in the middle of that dent and then squish it to the middle of the tab. Let it just barely dry, because that pulled great. I mean, it's it's cold <laughs> out here, but the metal's nice and not warm to the touch, but almost. And uh, we'll give this one another little try with the mini lifter. Come on, can you get around there? Hello. This is one of these uh, cheaper tabs too. This is one of these tabs that just, yeah, the tab didn't hold that well. If I used a Keiko tab, it would have done a better job. But uh, this was a cheap little tab. And quality in, in materials, guys, is a big deal. It's, uh, you could buy these, these cheap tabs, and I'll show you the difference. The cheap tabs right here, you can tell there's, a big difference between that cheap plastic it doesn't even have a name on it and the ones that say Keiko that are solid sturdy thick they'll last a thousand pulls so there's a there is a and the feet on it grab the glue way better so there is a big difference um, we're probably going to do this dent in a couple of clips let me show you guys down here what I'm talking about see that if you look down on me like this you can see we got a football of a dent that is there so I'm gonna I'm gonna end up opening this thing up actually I'll open it up right now and show you we've got it taken apart and uh, we're gonna end up getting in here with the rods 
uh, bracing this thing open. And the next shot that we'll come back to is me with this thing braced open and working on it like this, looking up into the sky. Uh, one, two, three chemtrails already. It was a clear day about an hour ago. Five chemtrails in the sky and now we got a cloudy sky. That's just off topic, but we will come back here and show you what we got in just a second when we're pushing the rest of this out. I really appreciate you guys sticking with us for this part of the video. Um, for this long in the video so far, if you have already, uh, hit that like button. Okay guys, we got it uh, propped open and actually I haven't used any tools yet. I've made one or two more glue pulls. So let's make another glue pull here. Uh, I wanna put it from the top. And let's just give it a little soft pull. That was a, I waited a little too long because we were getting ready to film here, but let's just see how much of this dent actually has come out with just glue pulling so far. So quite a bit. Um, it still has this line that if you, if you get enough angle on it, you'll see, but it's got a low here. And let me just try to make one good solid glue pull where I want. Um, grab the quality tab. The glue is still nice and hot. And I'm gonna come, I don't know if you guys can see this area like right here, but it's kind of this weird little triangle little teardrop area right there that's where I just had the tab previously and I didn't make a good pull because in uh, the cold wind blowing on the car it's not really that warm anymore we want to pull it pretty quick yeah 60 it's down to 60 so it's cooling off very quick and I don't want to pull it too hard the key on this one is doing it nice and slow so I don't cause myself more work. Uh, a lot of times with glue pulling guys, you will cause yourself more work tapping down than if you just stop halfway through the pull and use the isopropyl to get it off. Like these right here, boom, 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 these three highs, I literally didn't pull it all the way up, I stopped. So let's get in here and take some of these highs down. Uh, excuse the noise, but I do uh, have a rag stuffed in there to kind of deaden the sound. And so I'm gonna, well, that one's almost a little better here. Um, spend some time dialing in these little tappers, the high lines that, from my glue pulling. And I think, I think I'm just gonna do glue and tool basically at the same time. I'll just keep you guys here with me for a couple of minutes. Get it right on up to where it's tightest. And give it some nice severe taps. I mean, some of these taps sound pretty hard, but I'm not making little dents. I'm just hitting on the crest. And uh, yellow and orange paint. I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, obviously, yeah, it's probably pretty tough for you to see. But yellow and orange paint is one of the toughest to see a dent because it just eats up the light. Um, so this dent, I, uh, the customer is well aware that it might not be 100%, but by the way that orange kind of eats up the curves of the light and this is just a little panel that we got to get straight, um, you know, I'm sure that we're gonna get it looking real good. Even if I have to break out the heat gun and tool it up a little bit, and it's almost warm enough right now that I could just make some real soft baby pushes. But I have to do it with this angle. And I know it makes it even tougher for you guys to see. So let's go like this, move the whole board up. Make sure it's on, because I'm gonna, kind of muscle it right there so I'm basically looking up at this dent right here and I can work it with the tool going in I'm thinking I'm thinking of grabbing Louie for this job 
just coming right in here with Louie, finding my access, maybe removing some of these towels, uh, and a little kind of key trick as the towels do help sometimes, finding my leverage, and then coming around and seeing if I can actually access this area. which it looks like I can, obviously, but it's gonna be some long and slow pushing. So there's not gonna be much you guys can see. I mean, I know that I'm right about here and I'm just holding the tool with both hands. Got it right on the weird little ridge of, I think, glue in there. And I'm making some tiny tiny pushes but yeah um, this might go into ultimate boringness so we might have to just come back and show you the end result we got a lot of that down out with uh, the glue the majority of the big stuff and then for the for the little stuff it's basically like if I start over here guys let me just find my tool and start at the edge I'm kind of in the middle actually I'm right in the middle and there's this glue behind it that you'll hear cracking definitely it's not the paint cracking thank goodness right but it's this backing of glue that if you see when we looked in it's uh it's really hard to work around so Either getting it warm or taking it real slow is just the key. And uh, making sure my pushes don't kind of do that, what they just did, which is roll off the edge of that glue and hit into kind of a high point. Um, real, real in-depth stuff. I mean, if you just wanted to watch a dent come out, this is uh, a little bit more than that on a video because we're getting into some in-depth uh, visualization and tapping and um, I mean this one does still have some crowns right up here right up here from the initial dent right down here that I can come in and baby them out straighten up this whole thing uh, the glue did a lot so far and now let's do what we call cross checking come down get a good angle on the side let's Nice chilly breeze. Look at it through the side. Let's see if we see what we're looking at. See, we got a large dent up here, and then a couple little high brows where I made my glue pulls through that tab or through that crease. And then this little smiley face down here, which was the initial dent, but it's the remainder of it. We got a lot of that out. So I think what we'll do, guys, is come back in a bit and. Um, show you the end result show you the finale because I'm gonna spend a good hour on this one working this one out and making it look real nice for you and I know that'd be a, a long boring process like watching grass grow so I sure do appreciate everybody sticking with me through this part if you would hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in just a sec okay guys we're back uh, I'd say we're about an hour maybe an hour and a half later and here's what we ended up with um, Hopefully you guys can see what I see. I see a little tug right here. It's not perfect. I might even want to tap that down a little bit. But other than that, there's a slight wave that goes off. Um, let me show you what I did here, but let's just take a look at it with normal natural light um, as opposed to that large dent. And I will say guys, this was a collision. I mean, this, this truck backed into something. Um, we put it all back together nice and uh, you know, no holes were drilled. This thing came out pretty good. Um, I would say we got it to that 95%. Um, and the customer was well aware that, you know, if you put a board on it and you look at it with a super fine reflection, you might be able to see that wave. Um, but uh, I think he's gonna be really happy with the result. And uh, if you guys liked it, you know, show me you liked it. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, once again, this has been PDR and I'm out. Peace.